You're with the Breaker Leggers, and we're in London at the Charing Cross Theatre to see the brand new musical, The Braille Legacy. And we have some special guests, the Little Leggers. So stay tuned to find out how many legs, whether it's break a leg or a legging. So what do we know about The Braille Legacy? The Braille Legacy is a brand new musical that tells the story of Louis Braille, who created the internationally accepted alphabet for the blind and changed the world. Okay, this production is directed by Tom Sutherland. Tom is an established musical theatre director, having recently directed both Titanic and Ragtime here at the Charing Cross Theatre. He also directed the musical Grey Gardens, which we caught at the Southern Playhouse in 2016, and starred Jenna Russell and Sheila Hancock. The Braille Legacy has music and lyrics by Sebastian Lancrenon, book by Jean-Baptiste Saudre, and was translated from the original French by Ranjit Bolt. I often say that I know everything about history from musical theatre. French Revolution? Les Mis. Oh. Vietnam War? Miss Saigon and Hair, obviously. Okay. So let's hope the education continues with this piece. We'll, we'll catch you at the interval! We've come to the interval of the Braille Legacy at the Charing Cross Theatre, which means it is time for the Break Leggers. And Little Leggers! 30 second interval breakdown! Go! What do you think, little legger? I think the set is really good because it spins around. Okay, what do you think? I really like the costumes because they're simple and just in two colours, black and white. Okay, and what do you think, legger? I think that some of the music is a bit samey, uh, it seems to be a ballad heavy one, very subdued. What do you think, other legger? Uh, I think it's good to see the story about how um, Dr. Pinier has got this institute for the deaf, uh, for the blind rather, no one is behind him, but Mr. Braille is beginning to figure out what he's going to do. So the Breaker Leggers have come to the end of the Braille Legacy. So um, who wants to start? Little Legger, what did you think? I think it was really good because all of the actors remembered all their lines. Which is really important to be honest. We have yes. seen a few productions where you don't feel safe in the actors' hands. They kind of trip up over their lines and then you just spend the whole time on edge. But yeah, it was um, really good um, in that respect. They seemed to be well rehearsed and well practiced. Yeah, it flowed really well. If we're talking about staging, I did think that the, the staging of it flowed really well. Um, not been to this venue before. It's quite a long, thin venue. Um, so I guess they're quite limited in what they can do. But in terms of production values, it was still really good. So what did you think of it, Little Lego? Especially the second act. What did you like? I loved it. Yes, it did. There was kind of a little bit of death and intrigue and mystery in the second act, which was lacking a little in the first act, and um, which helped to pick up the pace and maintain the pace coming out of the interval, which can sometimes be tricky when you leave a show and you have to do something, make a gap halfway through to bring the pace back up. But they did it quite quickly with this, with quite a dramatic opening for the second act. Yes. I agree. I, I do think the second act was better. I mean, everyone knows kind of, you know, Braille, what Braille is, and that it must have been invented. But I guess the second act goes more into the politics of it, how they had to fight for um, a place in society, how um, blind people were seen as second-rate citizens, almost being ill, being experimented on. Two of the children, was it Catherine and Gabriel, were taken and experimented on uh, and died. Um, so, you know, that was quite interesting seeing how one of the professors, Professor Defoe, kind of had a bit of a dark side. It must be a hideous part of French history that they um, probably are very, very ashamed of. Um, I imagine that he is considered um, vilified in blind culture and in France itself. Um, yeah, him and Berger, wasn't it? Yeah. Berger as well. Um, and to kind of think, in terms of what we were talking about at the start, about how you kind of get your history lessons from musicals, so it's really interesting to see the story of um, Louis Braille play out, and that he died at the age of, was it 43? 43, yeah. In 1853, uh, Tuberculosis, was? which was prevalent at that time, but what a legacy, and the Braille legacy, what a history. So, what did you think about performances? Were any performances that stood out to anyone? 
Um, uh, Jack Wolf playing the lead as Louis Braille. Um, he's fresh out of Mount View, literally graduated this year. Um, straight into a leading role in uh, quite a small venue but in a, a good part I'd have liked his part to have been written with a little bit more range of vocal musically I don't think it gave him opportunity to fully showcase what he can possibly do there's no dance scenes in this there's no dance number so I don't know how he moves but I think he'll get picked up for other shows I think we can see him again a lovely crystal clear voice beautiful kind of soft gentle vocal I enjoyed him a lot how about you Big Legger? Um, I we, including the uh, Little Leggers, uh, enjoyed Jerome Pradham as uh, Pinier, although you weren't so sure. No, I kind didn't. Kind of in safe hands, you kind of give, gave a good, passionate performance. Jason Broderick, I thought, gave a really nice performance, kind of understated, but then he had a lovely moment in the second act where he really got his teeth into the bar, uh, beautifully performed. I could see him up there almost doing a barricade role at the Queen's Theatre. Let me see. Yeah, things I didn't like, I found lyrically, I found it sometimes a bit cheesy bit tacky. Put me in the mind of the episode of Friends where Joey gets a role in Freud the musical and gets to sing All you want is a dinkle, a thing in which you can tinkle. I found it a little bit kind of stereotypical lyrically. And musically nothing particularly soaring or stirring either so not great in those respects. I hated the lighting. I really didn't enjoy that. I probably stand alone here, but I found the lighting to be very dull, very uninspired, and a huge amount of a lack of spotting. I couldn't tell who was singing, where they were on stage. I couldn't pick them out in a crowd at some point. I spent their entire line, sung lines, looking who they were. Where was that noise coming from? Which was a problem for me. It distracted me. What did you think of the lighting, Little Eggers? I thought it was okay. Okay, for you? Okay. Very dark piece. I, I, I didn't mind it. I thought it was quite atmospheric. Yeah, great history lesson. I can now go away going, yeah, I know everything about Braille. Because uh, I thought the Braille legacy, don't you know? Like, uh, I know everything about, um, like, uh, the Titanic because there's a musical of that. So, how many legs, I hear you ask for the Braille legacy at the Charing Cross Theatre? We are going to give... decision. We thought it was quite good, okay, but some faults as well. Musical, lyrically, not great as a story and a way to convey a piece of history. Interesting, worth giving a look. Is that the right terminology to use about a piece about blind people? I don't know. Tell us what you think if you get to see it yourselves. Yeah. L um, like, subscribe, share, Follow us on Twitter, send us a message, we'd love to hear from you. And hopefully we'll get to see a little bit more from the Little Leggers in the future too. We're the Breaker Leggers and the Little Leggers and we'll see you again soon. Bye!